I've been playing around with a little buck converter that you can buy on uh, uh, Amazon or eBay or wherever. Uh, these cost like a dollar each or so if you buy them in a quantity of uh, oh a half a dozen or so at a time. Uh, and what you see here is an electronic load. You'll see lots of videos on this on YouTube as well. And a Hantech current probe. And what I'm doing is looking at the uh, the waveforms of the buck converter. This is the uh, uh, voltage on the inductor and this is the current being drawn by the supply. Uh, in, in other words, the bottom trace is what uh, is uh, the output of that uh, Hentic current probe. Make sure it's, yeah, it's set in the right position. Uh, and the, uh, I've soldered a wire to the uh, uh, inductor. Here is the schematic. Let me zoom in just a little bit on there. The, the wire is right off of this point. I'm not going to talk about this today. What I really want to talk about today is a mistake I made in a previous video on power MOSFETs. And so let me turn some of this stuff off and get rid of some of the stuff in the way there. Because earlier in my video on power MOSFETs, I incorrectly wrote this formula for the voltage on a capacitor as Q times C. It should be Q divided by C. And a viewer pointed that out, and the viewer was correct. And it shows how once you make a mistake like this, I just uh, was typing slashes and uh, stars here. And in the confusion of trying to remember to use the, the format uppercase and then back to lowercase and so on, I completely overlooked the fact that I had miswritten this formula. And so I constructed an example which was based on the false formula and was obviously wrong. This is uh, an example based on the correct formula. But I thought it might be also useful to at least introduce these additional useful formulas. Now, of course, Ohm's Law and its various uh, incarnations, as well as the fact that Ohm's Law can be used in AC circuits if you use uh, impedance, which is resistance plus reactance, uh, and the fact that power can be an important uh, measure in a circuit, in large part because power is is always transformed. It's never really uh, created or destroyed. So the power, like in this uh, buck converter, and that was what I was uh, using it for an introduction, the power into this buck converter is equal to the power out of the buck converter plus the losses in the buck converter. So it's, it's useful to remember that, and I'll do a video in the future perhaps on how some of these various things can be used to simplify your analysis of what otherwise can be some rather complicated circuits. And remembering what charge is, it's just current over a period of time. In other words, charge is the accumulation of coulombs by flowing amperes for time in seconds. Or I equals Q over T, or T equals Q over I. And finally, you there are two useful formulas for energy, one in a capacitor and one in an inductor. In the capacitor, the energy in joules is just the capacitance in farads times the voltage in volts squared, the whole thing divided by two, or one-half CV squared. The energy in an inductor is the inductance multiplied by the square of the current. Once again, the inductance is in henrys, the current is in amperes. 
and then the whole quantity divided by 2. So, as I said, I'll get back to this circuit in the future, but I just wanted to make that correction for power MOSFETs and also add those additional formulas that we will use in some future video. So I hope you will forgive the mistake, stay tuned, stay safe, and have a nice day.